training lang po talaga, ganun po, kagaya po ng dati, training, training, training lang po talaga. Maganda po talaga yung magiging ganap ngayon kasi sigurado po kami parehas na itong laban na ito pinagandaan namin parehas. Sigurado may, may, may mangyayaring maganda. At si Nolly Jens, maganda rin record, hindi sad basta basta meron siyang lakas din. Ipigay na mo lahat ang training namin para sa presyo na mong malabot na doon. Yan po nakikita natin a glamorous view of Manila. Finite. What a marvelous view of the skyline of Manila. And from this beautiful landscape, we move in to this beautiful Okada Grand Ballroom. And this is the venue of boxing. As we see, an array of former world boxing champions, Rolando Navarreta, Herbito Salavaria, Rene Barrientos, and Luisito Espinosa. All of them former world boxing champions who have given glory and honor to our country. And don't forget to subscribe and follow us on our social media platforms, on Facebook, on Instagram, and on YouTube, Blow by Blow MP. And this kind of boxing action you can only find here on Blow by Blow. And our rules, no three knockdown rule in effect, only the referee can stop the fight, and a fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round. Well, ito na, ang ating uh, main event. This is for 12 rounds, and this is for the vacant World Boxing Council Asia Continental Bantamweight Championship. Nolly James Makilan contra Benny Cañete, and this is in the Bantamweight division. Magandang laban po to. It's gonna be a good one, and it's gonna be for a vacant WBC Asia Championship, no less than the WBC President Don Mauricio Sulaiman is in the house to witness this action, and James Makilan, with uh, a record of eight wins and one loss with five knockouts. At si Benny Cañeta naman, 10 wins with seven knockouts and one loss. You take a look at the reach advantage of Makilan. Kalibeta po si Cañete. And now let's turn you over to our ring announcer, Ted Lerner. Fight fans here at the Okada Manila Hotel and Casino, Paranaque City, Metro Manila. We head to our main event. Now let's bring out our fighters. Let's hear first from Benny Cañete. from his opponent, Noli James Makilia. Fight fans, we are coming to you live from the Okada Manila Hotel and Casino here in Paranaque City, Metro Manila, in the beautiful Philippines. As tonight, Manny Pacquiao's MP Promotions, in cooperation with Johnny Alorde Management International and sponsored by San Miguel Beer, proudly presents the number one television boxing show in the country blow by blow this championship bout is being sanctioned by the world boxing council wbc president in attendance tonight mauricio suleiman supervisor in charge at ringside from thailand general dampong timekeeper at the bell romelo santiago keeping track of the knockdowns kim dongan Physicians at ringside, Noel Napa and Julian Fronda. Judges scoring this bout on a 10-point must system at ringside, Antonio Comia, Oliver Garcia, 
and Salvador Lopez. And when the bell rings, your third man in the ring, referee in charge, Gerald Tomaldar. And now, fight fans, the fight you have been waiting for, your main event of the evening, 12 rounds for the WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Championship. Let's meet the fighters. Firstly, out of the blue corner to my left, tonight wearing the white trunks. He went in at 117 and one half pounds. Fight record, 10 wins, one loss, seven wins by knockout. He fights out of the Omega Boxing Stable and he is known as the bull from Isla del Fuego, the pride of Sikior. Please welcome Benny Cagliate. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner to my right, tonight wearing the white and gold. He also weighed in at 117 and one half pounds. Fight record, eight wins, one loss, five wins by knockout. Fighting out of the Pinalosa Boxing Stable, Paranaque City. Here is Noli James Maquilla. Once again, fight fans, 12 rounds for the WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Championship. Here's your referee, Gerald Tomaldon, with the final instructions. All right, Benny. Benny and Noli. All right. Okay, this is for the WBC Asia Continental title. I already gave you instruction a while ago. Protect yourself at all times. Don't do any foul. All right, good luck. Okay, narinig natin si referee Gerald Tomeldan. Ito na po, Benny the Bull, Cañete. And he's on your screen. He's had only one loss in his career. 10-1 on record now with seven knockouts. At sinoli James Makila ng tawag po sa kanya. The Explosive James. He has also had only one loss in his career. 8-1 on record now with five knockouts. And Makilan just being very aggressive right at the start. The explosive James versus Benny the Bull. Last two fights ni Makilan. Napanood po natin sa blow by blow. And his only loss was uh, his first professional fight. That was a decision loss to Jovera Mistoso. That was back in 2021. Since then, he has won all of his fights. Fights out of the Peñalosa stable. This is his first 12-round fight. Ganun din for Benny Cañete. In uh, January of last year, natalo po siya ni Kenneth Llover in a 10-rounder. That was his only loss. But has rebounded and last January scored a first-round knockout over the Thailander Fisanu Chim Santom in Quezon City. So Benny the Bull is a knockout puncher. Last fight po niya, lasted only one round. Let's see what he does against Makilan. Benny the Bull is uh, wearing the white trunks with the black trims on his waistband. And you can sense that uh, Cañete is going to be very physical in this contest, meaning to say he's going to be aggressive, he's going to exert his uh, physicality against Makilan. Both fighters striking, connecting with long shots for the moment. No short punches. But there you go, some chopping blows there by Benny the Bull as he comes charging in. Ito yung sinasabi natin, yung physicality at yung aggressiveness ni Benny the Bull as he comes storming in. And Makilan... He's under attack here. And Benny the Bull is attacking that body. Makilan almost going down. I don't think Makilan expected this kind of assault. Binu bully siya ni Bull. And more punches here by the 
extremely aggressive Benny the Bull Cañete. And this is the end of round number one. And a strong statement made here by Benny Cañete to take that run away from Nolly James Maquilan. Now we are scheduled for 12 in the Manimate division. Maquilan, uh, nasabi na natin, no? He has won his uh, last two fights on blow by blow. And he's actually the reigning uh, Philippine Boxing Federation Super Flyweight Champion, as you see. A division world boxing champion Manny Pacquiao beside uh, WBC president Don Mauricio Suleiman and beside Viva Promotions and MP Promotions head Sean Gibbons. Ito yung body attack ni Cañete and he's clearly the more aggressive of the two as he throws his weight around and provides that physicality that you would expect from a roughhouser. Okay, round number two. Ano kaya ang gagawin ni Makilan to try to counteract yung aggressiveness ni Benny Cañete? Paliwete po si Cañete. Oh! Cañete got hurt. And Nolly James Makilan connecting with a big shot. And now both fighters are detonating and exploding. Cañete got stunned. Uh, you take a look at Makilan's corner. Now Benny Cañete back in a driver's seat as he wades in and he throws those shots to the body of Makilan. Makilan seems to be backing off from that body attack. Maga pa tayo rito. We're only in round number two. But I think Makilan is already feeling the effects of that body attack. Ni Benny Cañete. And here we go again. Cañete measuring his opponent with that right hand. And then throwing that left to the body of Makilan. The ball is bullying his way through that defense of Makilan. And he likes it from close distance. Makilan is covering up. Makilan not able to throw any kind of jab because he doesn't have the distance. And Canete is just all over Makilan at this stage. And you're just wondering how much energy is Canete expending at this early stage of the fight. Nishan and Pepe Singdito is giving it all he's got. And this fight continues this storied pace. You don't know whether he'll have gas left in his tank down the home stretch. This goes the full distance. Nice left hand scored there by Cañete and then retalio, retaliatory left hand scored by Makilan. But it's all Cañete so far. Makilan scoring with the right hand that time, however. Off the ropes. What a pace being set by both these fighters. Again, those wide eyes of Cañete as he's looking for the kill. He's looking to take out Makilan the earliest possible time. And that's the end of round number two. You also notice that Bukana Bibig Ni Cañete. So we're only in round number two, but he's throwing a lot of punches. Julius Irving Hunko, and trainer ni uh, Benny the Bull Cañete. By the way, Benny the Bull is the official mascot of the Chicago Bulls in the NBA. Anya po tinawaga ng uh, The Bull si Benny. Tama-tama naman ang kanyang nickname. 
At si James Makila naman, tamang-tama din ang nickname niya, The Explosive James. That was a right hand scored by Makilan that stunned Kanyete and got him uh, reeling back towards the ropes. That was a punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer and delivered by Noli James Makilan. So far, it's been all Kanyete. We're in round number three. Yung physicality ni uh, Kanyete, very evident in this fight. And for Makilan, he's going to make use of that uh, ring. He's got to go around, throw those jabs, and keep Kanyete away from him. But Kanyete is not taking a step back, and he's just trying to overpower Makilan. Oh, punching uh, during the break. Nabigan a warning to Loy. Si Benny the Bull ni uh, referee Tom Eldan. Shot to the body by Cañete. Makilan now taking a step back as a result of that punch. Another left hand scored by Cañete. Makilan needs to establish his kind of style. Right now, he needs to be able to take a step back and throw that jab and keep Cañete away. Cañete is just all over him. He's swarming, he's smothering Makilan. Not allowing Makilan any space, any room to throw any punches. And Makilan finally taking a step back. See, he needs to be able to get that distance. Take a step back to take control. And now he whirls away from uh, Cañete, which is the right thing to do. If you're Makilan, you want to move away from being a standing target. But eto na naman, si Cañete. Remember, both these fighters have lost only once in their careers. Both, they're both fighting in their first 12-rounder. Now, there's some distance between these two fighters, and that's the reason why Makilan is now beginning to find the mark. Round number three, about to come to a close. First two rounds were clearly Cañetes, but here in round number three, got a little closer with Maquilan making an adjustment in his offensive stance, taking a step back, throwing some jabs, establishing distance between the two. But still, Cañete might have had the better of the exchanges in round number three. Round number four coming up. We are scheduled for 12. It's been action-packed so far. And could be a cut there over the left eye of Benny the Bull Cañete. We take a look at that punishment being dished out by Cañete on Makilan. A left hand connecting that time. No, I don't see a cut over the uh, left eye of Cañete. So, no cut, no cut. Noli James Makilan. Round number four. Both these fighters answering the call, answering the bell. Now, will Makilan continue to fight from a distance? Will he keep away from the smothering attack of Benny the Bull Cañete? Right hand scored by Makilan. Now he's having his way from a distance. Makilan doing a much better job now boxing from long range. 
And he's even smiling at the Cañete now as he has adjusted his offensive stance. And Magdila now moving away. He's not going to be pushed against the ropes. And there he is. He's beginning to connect with combinations. And the work rate of Cañete is going down. And he might have punched himself out in the first few rounds. Makilani is now coming on strong, but here's Cañete. Moving in once more. He's such a dangerous opponent because he's so aggressive. And once again, he's closed the gap. And that's the reason why he's connecting. But Makilani, that's springing out of that corner and connecting once more from distance. Canada still going to the body of Bakilan. Uh, this has become a tactical fight. Bakilan wants to fight from distance. Canete needs to come close. Canete going to the body. Bakilan spearing Canete with that left jab. Makilan just looking to counter. And we notice that uh, Cañete is not as aggressive as he was in the previous rounds. He's slowing down a little bit, but he's still pressing the action. Nanjamparen, si Cañete, trying to smother. Makilan. Now, did Makilan do enough to win that round? As Makilan walking away from Cañete. Cañetas cornerman Julius Irving Hunko, and no relation to the Philadelphia 76ers NBA legend. At si Atan Peñalosa naman po, the former world title challenger, is in the corner of uh, only James, the explosive James Pakilan. Again on the attack. So aggressive is Benny the Bull Cañete. Now note that this is for the vacant WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Championship and no less than the WBC President Don Mauricio Sulaiman is in the house. Round number five, scheduled for 12. It's been a dandy. Cañete moving closer and pounding the body of Makilan. And look at that body weight that Cañete is putting behind every shot that he throws. And here he is. He's sensing that he might have hurt Pakilan. He's coming in, he's charging in. And he's got Makilan exactly where he wants him. Along the ropes. Now Makilan moving away from the ropes. But he got tagged once more by Cañete, who's just so active, super busy, and see bug. Ni Cañete sa pagkatapa ng suntok. And uh, looks like a cut, or no, a mouthpiece has been spat out. The mouthpiece has been spat out here by only James Pakilan. Pakilan continuing to throw dagger looks at his opponent, Benny Cañete. 
but a mouthpiece has been spat out and uh, referee's not going to allow any kind of repetition. And this is exactly where Cañete wants it. The middle of the ring, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, head to head. Slugging is his style. While Maquilan needs that distance. But again, the fight is going Cañete's way as the fighters are slugging it out. And more punishment being dished out here by Cañete. Shot to the body by Cañete. Maquilan seems to be holding on. Retaliation is coming uh, not too often here from uh, Maquilan. He's throwing punches, but there's very little power behind those punches of Maquilan. He's just being overpowered at this stage. Those are power shots being thrown by Cañete. Right hand scored there by Maquilan. But again, it's all Benny the Bull Cañete. End of the round, and Maquilan walking back to his corner. A little confused. He needs to regain his uh, composure and his senses. Strategy not working his way as you take a look at some of uh, the beautiful people at the Okada, Manila Grand Ballroom in Paranaque City. And you see some of the luminaries in the house. Pretty Boy Lucas, the former world uh, light flyweight contender. Referee Dan Rex Tapdaza. So Nico Elorde, son of uh, Johnny and Lisa Elorde. And that was a punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. Smacking right hand scored by Cañete. Round number six. When there's a lot of action, the rounds come flying by. Nice connection with the combination for Maquilan. That's because there's distance. And now Cañete is moving in. He's getting, uh, he's getting hit by those combinations coming from Maquilan. Maquilan doing the right thing and taking a step back and then throwing the combination. There he is again. Pag hindi nakakalapit si Cañete, nahihirapan siyang sumuntok. And Maquilan now also moving away from Cañete. He can't allow himself to be trapped against the ropes. Cañete just tries to smother Maquilan with his uh, physicality and his ruggedness. Cañetes throwing some shots, but I don't think they're damaging shots. He's lost a little bit of his power here in round number six. Maquilan scoring with the right hand. Another right hand scored by Maquilan. Bumagal dito si Cañete. Cañete trying to fight back, but Maquilan is beginning to find his range. And uh, he's moving in now. So it's very uncharacteristic. Canina, it was Cañete who was moving in. And Maquilan fighting from distance now. Maquilan sensing that uh, Cañete is slowing down and that he's now more vulnerable to getting hit. Maquilan connecting with the right hand. Now Cañete is also throwing punches, but kulang na sa power, kulang. 
Nawala na yung sting ng mga suntok ni uh, Kanyete. And I think Makilani is sensing that, which is the reason why he's taking a lot more chances now and moving closer. Maybe he thinks he can take the shots of uh, Kanyete much better now. Now Kanyete is starting to shoot from uh, distance here. But that's not his style. He needs to come closer. He needs to overpower. Maganda itong laban na ito. It's been a change of, uh, of styles. A fight of adjustments. And that's the end of round number six. And Cañete going back to his corner with his mouth wide open. Breathing heavily now from the mouth. You see Benny the Bull Cañete. Punch of the round brought to you by San Miguel Beer. There's that punch coming from Makilan. And now more punishment being inflicted by both these fighters. And there it is, a big shot. And Cañete going down from a body shot. And he's writhing in pain. Might be a solar plexus punch. Cañete is out. He has been counted out, and Nolly James Pakilan just biding his time for the right time to win this fight by a scintillating knockout, a shot to the body. And that was the whole point of attack of Cañete from the start. Attack the body of Makilan, but then the tables were reversed. The aggressiveness of Cañete, but we did see signs of slowing down Benny the Bull. Gave it all he had in the first few rounds. And then Nolly James Makilan just waiting for the right time. And a shot to the solar plexus, giving him the victory by a knockout. Sensational victory by Nolly James Makilan. Benny the Bull Cañete. He was on the attack from the start. He was the aggressor. He was showing his physicality and his ruggedness. And then he started to slow down. He might have punched himself out. And then he got hit with a shot to the solar plexus. And out was Benny the Bull Cañete, counted out. He's still on the canvas. He needs to be administered. And even the WBC president, Don Mauricio Sulaiman, is looking over the fallen opponent. He's still lying on his back on the canvas. And the wind got knocked out of his sails, that's for sure. And we've seen that happen in so many boxing matches. When you get hit in the solar plexus, it's almost as if you're drowning. Biglang nawalaan ng hininga yung boxing hero and Nolly James Makilan. Wow, what a sensational victory. He raises his record now to 9-1 and one with six knockouts. And Benny the Bull, Cañete, you know, you feel like drowning when you get hit in the solar plexus. But after about 15, 20 seconds, you're back to normal. Once you get your breathing back, you're okay. It's not as if you got hit in the head where you could uh, suffer a concussion. But when you get hit with a shot to the body, you lose your breath. But now he's okay. He just got hit with a shot to the midsection. And that took the breath away of Benny the Bull Cañete. And the man who tamed the bull, Nolly James Makilan, 
the explosive James is the new WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Champion. What a sensational victory. Nolly James Pakilan, he was actually behind on points, at least on our unofficial scorecard. But he just waited for the right timing. Agnete started to lose his sting. He started to tire out, and sure enough, Makilan taking advantage of the situation. Punch of the round, makikita po natin kung ano nangyari. Watch the punch, there it is. A punch to the solar plexus, and down went Benny the Bull Cañete. Got the wind taken out of his sails. Watch it again, boom! To the solar plexus, and then a delayed reaction, split second, and then he went down, writhing in pain, and Nolly James Makilan, he knew that he had it. And the referee counting uh, Benny the Bull Cañete out. A full 10 count, a knockout scored by Makilan. Sensational fashion. Gerald Tomaldon reaches the count of 10. Your winner at 39 seconds of round number seven by knockout and new WBC Asia Continental Benham Way Champion Noli James Mahi. And there he is, Noli James Pakilan, along with his uh, trainer Jonathan Peñalosa. What a victory! Games and amusements board chairman attorney. Richard Clarin posing with uh, the new WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Champion along with his trainer, Jonathan Peñalosa. And what a way to end this night of fireworks. What a sensational climax. And no less than uh, WBC President Mauricio Sulaiman applauding the efforts of the fighters. As you see, Chairman Clarin, MP Promotions and Viva Promotions head, Sean Gibbons, and naturally, Manny Pacquiao, the eighth division world boxing champion in the building, raising his fist. And Manny Pacquiao, the living legend. Our blow-by-blow -blow CEO, Marife Barrera, is also in the picture. And let's uh, review the highlights of this fight just ended. And Benny, Cañete against Nolly James Makilan. And we did say that it had the makings of an explosive ending. In round number one, you see Cañete just on the attack. And uh, again, we were raised the question, how much energy is he going to expend? And can he last the full distance if it does go the distance? And you see Cañete just going all out, throwing punches from all angles and uh, Makilan almost going down in round number one. But round number two, Makilan starting to come back, but still, Cañete on the attack. He was on fire and uh, no let up in putting pressure on Makilan. Round number three was more of the same, although Makilan now beginning to do a little bit of adjustments in his fighting style, taking a step back, fighting from a distance, throwing combinations and there you have it more of the action now and then in round number four Makilan starting to take chances realizing that Cañete's power was on the wane and he also noticed that the sting of Cañete's punches going down diminishing and round number five Now Makilan standing his ground and dishing out as much punishment as he took in the previous rounds against Benny Cañete. And again, more fierce action from the both these fighters. Round number six. Makilan now beginning to gain confidence and realizing that his adjustments were working. And you see Benny Cañete still trying to overpower his opponent 
with his aggressiveness and his ruggedness and his physicality. But in round number five, ito na. A delayed reaction on the part of Cañete as he got smacked with a right hand to the solar plexus and uh, getting the full 10 count. Benny Cañete going down and out and Nolly James Makilan winning the WBC Asia Continental Bantamweight Championship in a sensational fashion.